Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a Tampa Tuesday on Uncle Bub's Bail Buckle Beer Views. All right, so we're not actually in Bail Buckle this week. We're in, uh, we're, we're in that, on the outskirts of Tampa. Actually, down here on Indian, in Indian Shores Beach here in Florida, sitting in a condo. Um, I'm fixing to show you my view. I can't have the view in my video because it makes everything look dark, so I'm going to show you. And see when I turn it over, I, you can't even see my face when I turn you, show you the view there. But that's the view we have from our condo balcony. We're on the fourth floor here, and we're actually right next to a bird sanctuary. You can see pelicans and all kinds of uh, Florida birds down here. I'm going to turn this thing around and let you see these, this bird sanctuary. It says on the front of it, it's a... Uh, uh, they uh, rescue, rehabilitate, and release these birds that are injured here in, in Florida. We can turn this thing around and you can see this thing. That gives you a little bit of the idea of how, I mean, it's not very big, actually. I mean, it's, you know, about the width of a, a condo that would go here, except they made a bird sanctuary out of it. And they got netting over a lot of it right there where the birds can't, you know, fly out and stuff. But So the birds are going to be making some noise during my video, but we'll get through it. It'll be all right. All right, so what I've got for you today is a beer that's uh, uh, actually made by a brewery here in Tampa. It's the Tampa Bay Brewing Company. And I reviewed a beer by these guys, I don't know, a couple of years ago while I was in Tampa. I think it was Reef Donkey. I um, mean, it was a good brew. But we, me and my family went to uh, the Tampa Bay Brewing Company restaurant. They, they had a, a, I guess it's a tap room restaurant here in Tampa Bay. And uh, so we went there and, and had some uh, had some excellent food, excellent service, and some good brew while we were there. But they actually had four packs of the brew that you could buy, you know, before you left. So I picked up a few of them. And today, what I'm going to do is is uh, the uh, Sea Bison. It's a, a hazy India Pale Ale, and it's brewed with Idaho Seven, Araka, Mosaic, and Cashmere hops. Um, this is a 7.8% alcohol by volume. Um, it's brewed and canned by Tampa Bay Brewing Company in Tampa, Florida. And on the side over here it says in collaboration with, uh, with uh, Thin Man Brewery. So there, it's a, collabor a collaboration brewery. And uh, I can't really give you a good picture of the can. I'll, I'll, I ain't got nothing to set my can on. I'm having to stand up here because I don't have a table out here on the balcony. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll uh, screenshot a picture of this can and put it up there where you can see it. But Sea Bison Hazy India Pale Ale is what we're going to do today. All right? And uh, I got me a glass that I borrowed out of the kitchen here in the condo. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's hazy, all right. Glass ain't gonna hold what my mug at home does. Ooh, I can smell the hops in it. And you can tell it's a hazy brew. It's a pretty hazy brew. Nice head. I mean, look at that head. And the head is a is a it's an off-white. It's almost a yellow head. It doesn't really look that way on the camera, but looking at it, it looks it has a yellow tint to it. Of course, the brew is hazy, but it's a darker kind of hazy brew. Pretty. Nice hop aroma. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice hoppy bitterness, too. Um, 
All right, so I'm getting a couple of different <laughs> I'm getting a couple of different flavors out of the head of this thing. Um, I'm getting juicy notes, juicy and tropical notes out of it. Uh, the the finish has a little bit of bitterness to it. Um, kind of a an earthy type flavor as well. Earthy, tropical, juicy, and some bitterness. It's delicious. Pretty brew. down there still got quite a bit to can so at a 7.8 percent abv this uh, sea bison from the tampa bay brewing company is for all american workers hey i love and appreciate y'all thank you for the hard work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves and your families pay your own way just like i do um i happen to be on vacation this week and uh, while i'm down here i'm going to uh, review some local brews i picked up some brews on the way down here in georgia and I got several from here in Florida. I'm gonna review what I can. And uh, anyway, so this one, uh, this one is my first. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Mm. Wow, the body of this thing. Okay, so the flavor I got in the head translates a little bit down into the body of it, but the body has more of a juicy type flavor to it than anything else. Um, it's very smooth and easy to drink. Man, that's good. That's a good brew. All right, so I actually got a uh, a piece of paper from the Tampa Bay Brewing Company that tells a little bit about some of the beers that they brew there. And on this uh, this sea bison, this is what it says on here. Now it, it says IPA New England, so it's a New England style IPA according to this. Didn't say that on the can, but it says floral aromas of grapefruit and tangerine zest. Resinous but fruit forward <clears throat> with a touch of pine. I can see that, and I guess one of the, I guess one of the the, the flavors that I've been tasting, I, I kind of uh, attribute to the earthy type flavor is a resin type flavor. I guess um, I get just a touch of the pine. I can kind of get just a touch. It, it's not really, it's not really very prevalent. Though. The pine's not. Um, the intensely. The intensity of exotic tropical fruit notes shine bright like the sun. Complex, distinct, flavored flavors of guava, lemon, melon, and stone fruit are most prevalent. Carrying a smooth bitterness with a super soft mouthfeel, your lips will be begging for the next sip. Brewed with our friends from in Buffalo, New York, Thin Man Brewery. So Thin Man Brewery is out of Buffalo, New York. It didn't say that on the can either. Anyway, it's very interesting. Uh, they've got a lot of write-ups on, on their brews that they did there. Um, they only had a certain, they, they've got two pages, a front and back page of the brews that they do there, but they only had uh, certain kinds that you could buy. And I had to buy them in a four pack. I couldn't buy, you know, singles, so I did the best I could. I, I, could only, I could only afford to buy three. They were like $5 a beer, so it was like $20 for a four pack. And you know, since I'm down here on vacation and everything, I decided to splurge a little bit. But uh, anyway, this is a good brew. If, I don't know how widely they're distributed, but if you get a chance to try it, give it a shot. Man, it just goes down smooth and easy. It's delicious. I'm gonna give this a good A minus. Um, that's a good brew. Sea Bison by the Tampa Bay Brewing Company in collaboration with Thin Man Brewery. All right, y'all. That's been a Tampa Tuesday for this week. Love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned.
Take care. I'll be back tomorrow for a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, so y'all stay tuned. Cheers. That's good.